Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in to your intuitive reading. This is going to be trying to uh, channel any intuitive messages for you, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or if you're dealing with one of those signs, this reading could absolutely be for you. Um, and we're going to just go intuitive. We'll see what comes up. Whatever messages that you need to know at this current time frame, um, currently where you're at and what you're doing. So let's lay out some cards. Okay, I feel like there's a big shift straight away. Um, uh, a big shift in stability. Okay, so there's a big restructure that's happening here for you or a ma massive change in routine. Now, it could be in your day-to-day -day life. It could be anything to do with money um, because it is coming up with the Ten of Pentacles. The Tower card is sort of sitting next to it here. Um, and then we've got some we've got some pentacles. So I feel like creatively anything to do with money making opportunities, or maybe if you're dealing with an earth sign in particular, a Capricorn, um, they are coming up and there could be a massive restructure. The tower can be things um, things falling apart or an opportunity to rebuild something because as we sort of pull things apart, dismantle them or deconstruct them, it does give us an opportunity to rebuild things from anew. So it may not necessarily be um, a really bad setback. It can absolutely be a blessing in disguise um, that, that, that that has happened or that will happen here. Um, like I said, particularly if you're dealing with an earth sign, um, because the tower card definitely shakes things up, okay? And it could very much be next to this relationship. Um, the devil can be with a Capricorn here, um, but Capricorn is a highly resilient, highly able. It's it's the it's very much a problem solving kind of energy. Um, it can have something to do with vices here as well, because it's the devil. It can be like temptation that's coming through here. So for some of you, it might be. Um, I'm, I'm getting like a liberal freedom kind of sense. You might be newly single and exploring, you know, your options. It could be that you're um, dating around. Um, anything to do with activity that can be kind of seen as a vice. Um, so, of course, take that if it resonates. Um but it can also be like bondage and tying ourselves to certain things or even obsession. Um, there may be someone here who's still attached to you um, and you may hear some news, especially if it's been a while um, because you have the hangman here. So things left in suspense, um, things that you've been waiting for. It might be a person that you've been waiting for, um, a connection that you've been sort of waiting for or waiting on. Um, and the hangman here can be something to do with punishment. So you might be punishing yourself. Again, I don't know if this is this restructure or this uh, really big shake up in your routine. Um, and you might end up suffering if you don't look after yourself, meaning, you know, make sure you're sleeping, make sure you're looking after yourself um, body wise, make sure you're nourishing your mind, your body, your soul, um, because it's very much necessary for you at this present time. I'm definitely getting massive restructure and options. Balance is very important for you. Don't forget the universe wants to stress that or you're going to absolutely burn yourself out. Could also be a very busy period. You've got the world in your hands here, fire signs. Um, you are the ones. Okay, so you're going places. You're stepping out into the world. You're in the public eye. People may be watching or judging you on what you're doing. Um, you might be putting things on social media. Be careful what you put on there because there's definitely someone watching, maybe someone from the past, maybe someone you work with very closely. Um, but I do feel like um, publicity or notoriety, okay? And you know how they say there's no such thing as bad publicity. Um, there's definitely a lot of attention, uh, but I think you need to decide if it's warranted, if it's good attention or it's bad attention. Either way, there's options coming up. You're holding the world in your hands here, which is telling me there's options and opportunities for you to press forward, change up your routine, um, sort of survive whatever this is. Not only survive, but also thrive at the same time. So um, you do have options here around you. 
okay? Um, one, wand, one wand is free, the other wand is bolted down. So I feel like part of you may be holding parts of yourself back. Um, you may be suppressing certain things. They may be coming out into the open because the tower is, is very much fire energy with this lightning rod here. But the crown is coming off. So I see a very fast paced energy around you. I think a lot of things are going to change very quickly. And I think you're just going to have to go with the ebb and flow of things, meaning things are going to change, then they're going to change back and then there'll be one way and then there'll be another way. So I feel like you'll have to make decisions really, really quickly here, um, fire signs. Okay, so swift decision making, thinking on your feet, there will be solutions and options next to you. You just need to figure out what they are, okay? It's never that bad, all right? There's always ways around it, um, but you are very perseverant. And if there's anything that you can do in a swift manner, fire signs, it is um, anything to do with your um, your desires, that fire in the belly, the, the, those aspirations, those passions, those wants and needs. So you are able um, to remedy or to fix things if you need to, um, because it's definitely coming up. There also might be very quick um, travel plans, uh, travel opportunities, could be winning a competition, it could be a friend visiting you, it might be um, a lot of short trips through work, it might be a romantic interest, even an ex inviting you, but I definitely see um, quite a bit of travel. Um, could be short, smaller trips, um, or you're based in between two different locations here. Could also be a long distance thing happening here, someone foreign um, coming up around you and I see you bouncing between two different locations here. Again, could be people that you're seeing. Um, it could be uh, homes that you might be investing in. It might be a relationship around you. Um, it might just be feeling torn between two different locations, like wanting to stay one place, but then you may find yourself drawn to another. So. I really feel like the energy is about to pick up here for you, fire signs, but in a good way. I think it needs to happen. I think whatever this tower card moment is, it does need to happen. Some of you, you know, you, we can argue the other um, the other way of it here as well. You, you're going from uh, the five to the six to the ten, all because, you know, of that hangman of the tower, of things you've waited for, taking on those opportunities, um, collaborations here as well. Make sure you trust this person, though. I think trust is a big one, especially when we've got the devil present, okay? Because there's that very strong link, um, uh, very strong link um, coming up here, okay? Um, but I definitely feel like you could, there could be a reversal, meaning if you have had a lot of, if you have already been out of sorts and out of routine and things aren't seem to be consistent, could be in a business or a relationship, it can be that um, things definitely change here for the better and you do have more um, increased stability here as uh, the Ten of Pentacles would indicate. So it's not all bad. It could very much be climbing your way back to stability, climbing your way back up um, to routine and also seeing more money. Okay, like I said, just because there's a restructure, I don't want to focus on that as the, as the center point of the reading. But for some reason, I just feel like for you, it's it's it needed to happen. It either needed to change your perspective or show you what's what. Um, or, or in order for you to get that stability. Also, we've got an arch here. Um, archers are support, okay? So there could be family or financial support that's coming to you and it may be very unexpectedly. You might not be asking for it. You may not be expecting it, uh, but it is uh, definitely coming up around you here for one reason or another. So there's a lot of support that might be coming through here from people that are family or for, from people who feel like family um, as well.
Okay, best possible outcome. I love that the Ten of Cups has come here. This is a rainbow after the storm. Um, this is celebrating achievements. The rainbow is that is that promise. And what do we find? We find a reward. We find the pot of gold. Um, the rainbow can also be a promise, a very important promise, maybe coming from a water sign, actually. Let's say um, with the cups here, if this is a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio who's coming through here, fulfilling a promise. Um, it's also a resolution or a happy outcome for a relationship or a family matter or anything to do with the home here as well. So um, out of that, maybe instability or very uh, quick, unexpected turn of events, you might find that it actually worked out in your favor here. Um, this is all of the colors in the rainbow. So I feel like you're having a very, a very eventful um, time right now. Um, but um you're going to experience a bit of everything. It's all the colors of the rainbow, right? Take it all in. It's all a learning curve. Stay positive where you can. Always try to find the bright things. Um, always try to find the good things in what you're going through. If there's anything to hang on to, also always try to find that light. Um, but this is a celebration, okay? It could be around children, children, pregnancy maybe, um, working from home, a family business, uh, family coming to visit you, family mending, healing of family relationships. Um, and I feel like that's going to be important. I definitely feel like money or an earth sign is important for you uh, or an offer around that. And you're sort of holding it. It could be an award or a recognition of some kind to your fire signs. Um, and it may be a small recognition, but it's something, something to add to your repertoire, your resume, uh, life experience, look how he's holding it. It's quite valuable, we can see. Um, pages, pages can very much represent learning experiences. So some of you have a learning experience tied into an earth sign, um, or maybe money, career, creative pursuits. Um, so I do feel like there's a bit of a golden egg, okay, a golden opportunity that's coming up around you here. So pay attention to what's happening fire signs, because I feel like there's a lot coming at you. But I think I, I feel confident that you will able uh, that you will be able to um, persevere through it all. So um, enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe, and um, we'll speak soon. Bye for now.